OnePlus had a very good year. 11 Nord and Open phones were able to revive what we knew from OnePlus very well. That is a real flagship killer. OnePlus 12 is the same. But instead of flagship killer, it should be called super premium killer because it already has a flagship price. But it has features that can be compared with phones like S24 Ultra at $1300. This is OnePlus 12 review, so let's do it out. The design of OnePlus 12 is not much different from its previous generation, but it is different from this year's phones. The frame is curved and integrated with the camera frame, the screen is slightly curved, which I personally like a lot, but we have to admit that it has some problems too. OnePlus 12 is a well-built phone. Aluminum frame, matte glass back panel and front panel is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. It doesn't have super premium materials like titanium and anti-reflective Gorilla Glass armor, but considering the price, there is no problem with it. In terms of comfort, it's a big phone, 6.82 inches. It doesn't have a lot of grip because of the curved frame, but it can't be said to be uncomfortable or annoying because of its good weight balance and material. OnePlus 12 is water resistant, of course with IP65 rating, which means you don't have to worry about a glass of water or a shower, but it doesn't have a good relationship with the pool. The display of this phone is fantastic. LTPO3 AMOLED with QHD resolution and 510 ppi density, 120Hz dynamic up to 1Hz, which supports HDR10 Plus content, Dolby Vision, and 1 billion colors. The colors are very vivid and dynamic, the sharpness of the display is excellent, and with the new generation of LTPO, it is also optimal. Its brightness reaches 4500 nits. Yes, 4500 nits. Of course, this is an HDR mode, but still in front of sunlight, the content is quite clear. Also, in addition to being very bright, it is also dark. In OLED panels, by reducing the brightness, either the saturation should be reduced or the pixels should be turned on and off quickly. The speed of this switching on and off is very important because some people feel it and it causes headaches but the PWM rate of OnePlus 12 reads 2160 Hz, which completely solves the problem, but I do not recommend using the phone at night, just sleep. The speakers of this device are stereo, it has a good volume and sharpness, the bass is noticeable, it is good, but in its price range. The haptic feedback of OnePlus 12 is excellent and you can feel that the phone is dynamic. In terms of hardware, we don't expect anything other than a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but its RAM is from 12 to 24 GB of LPDDR5X. But even if you're the most professional user, 24 GB of RAM is extra for the phone. Maximum 16 GB is enough. Its memory is also ultra-fast UFS 4.0. All factory phones are fast, but OnePlus also has advantages. All games in this phone run at 120 FPS, with the help of frame generating. Imagine Genshin Impact with high graphics and 120 FPS. Its frame generating performance is excellent, great, but if you have the experience of 120 FPS gaming, you will notice that it is not quite the same feeling. What always made OnePlus phones a special in terms of hardware was the stability of their performance, which is the same in OnePlus 12. The phone warms up, but there is no severe heat or performance drop. The battery is 5400 mAh, which is higher than the current standard, and you will feel it. If you set the resolution to QHD and the refresh rate to 120Hz and have semi-heavy use, you won't need a charger for a full day. If you need it, there is a 100W charger in the box that will fully charge the phone in half an hour. If you are not interested in cables, it also supports 50 watt wireless charger and 10 watt reverse wireless charger. It's amazing. Nothing is perfect, not even OnePlus 12. The fingerprint sensor is still optical, not very fast and doesn't work with wet hands. The phone comes with Android and OxygenOS 14. The current OxygenOS is the same as ColorOS. Of course, this is not a weakness, the UI has a lot of small customization and useful features, but nothing related to AI. 
no magic editor, no magic eraser, no life translate, no bard, nothing. Of course, uh, this will probably not be sustainable and this will be added. But for now, there is nothing. Also, its full software support is 4 years. It is definitely enough for many and maybe after 4 years, the updates will not make a big change on an old phone. But when we compare it with 7 years of Google, Samsung and Apple, well, it won't win. In terms of camera, OnePlus has never been on the cutting edge. There have always been better choices, but it hasn't disappointed either. OnePlus 12 is the same. 50 megapixel main camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and 64 megapixel 3x telephoto, along with a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Photos in daylight are really good. Detail and sharpness are satisfactory, dynamic range is wide, and white balance and colors are accurate. In low light and night mode, the details of the photos are suitable, the dynamic range is excellent, and the photos have a natural feel. Ultra wide photos are not that amazing. They have little noise, good detail, the dynamic range is quite average, and the colors are sometimes oversaturated, sometimes desaturated. The photos in 3x zoom have good details, the dynamic range is wide enough, but the contrast is a bit high. There is also a 6x hybrid zoom, which is at the same level at 3x zoom, but with softer details and darker shadows. Selfies are recorded at 32 megapixels. They have clear details in good light condition, face processing is not the best, but good, and the dynamic range is quite normal. The main and telephoto lenses have OIS, and with all three of them, you can record 4K 60fps video, and with the main lens, 8K 24 frames per second. Don't pay too much attention to 8K, 4K 60fps is also more advertising, expect with the main lens. At 799, the OnePlus 12 is a great choice. The display, material, hardware, battery, and user experience are excellent. But if the camera is your main priority, or you are interested in AI features, with a slightly weaker specs, S24 and Pixel 8 are great choices. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it. And if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, see you next video.